I wasn't gonna do it. I said, not this year, Tim. They haven't sponsored you yet, Tim. Stop giving them free promotion, Tim. <sighs> Uniqlo U, spring, summer 2022. It's time for the haul. Trousers, more pants, and more pants. <laughs> That's a nice fabric. A long coat. Okay, so quick recap on what Uniqlo U actually is. It's basically a sub collection of the Uniqlo brand and website as a whole. And it's designed in collaboration with the creative director, Christophe Lemaire. So the pieces tend to be slightly more fashion forward. Usually nothing crazy. It doesn't go into these wild, bold colors and patterns, but the shapes tend to be a little bit more on the relaxed side. You got some oversized pieces with some more interesting cuts there. It comes out every year and I can usually find a few good pieces in there that I like and can incorporate into my wardrobe. Let's see what they have for this spring summer. So first up, we have the Uniqlo U trench coat. This is probably the piece I was the most excited about from the collection, just because I don't really have a trench coat that I like in my wardrobe at the moment. So it's supposed to come in an oversized cut, which for me is very important when it comes to coats, because I want to be able to wear a chunky hoodie or sweater underneath and still be comfortable and able to move my arms freely. So hopefully it fits well. Damn. Yo, this looks pretty sick. I love the shape of it. And this is an extra small, by the way. I'm 170 centimeters, weigh about 60 kilos. This is how it fits on me. Let me just try it on with shoes real quick so we can get a full look at an outfit. We'll do some white sneakers with this. Uh, where's the shoe horn? For me, the most important thing on any coat or jacket is to have the sleeves be wide enough. Like a lot of sweaters and t-shirts are oversized. And if the armhole is too slim, you can't really put your arm in. As you can see, the armhole starts here. This Abby sweater underneath is quite a bit oversized. To be honest, in regards to the fit, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Like this is a really, really solid fit. I think that's, that's a keeper. I love the coat. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's see how this looks closed up. Oh, this is solid. This is really, really solid. Not gonna lie, I really feel like in the past few collections, Uniqlo U has been lacking a little bit, but this first item I'm trying here is really, really sick. For me, this is a perfect spring, summer outer layer. It's very lightweight. It can protect you from the rain, which is very handy here in London. And the versatility of trench coats is just unparalleled. If you pick one in a neutral color like this, you can pretty much slap it on top of almost anything and make it look good. First item down and it's a winner. For our second item, we have the Uniqlo U Wide Fit Joggers. Whoa. <laughs> I thought that was the other way around. So I've actually been on the hunt for the perfect pair of sweatpants. So I've been trying a lot of different sweatpants lately and I'm actually making a video on that. So stay tuned. I don't know if it shows on camera, but they have a bit of like satin feel to it. Obviously we have the adjustable drawstring waist, which is mandatory for joggers and some elasticated hems as well. Let's try it on. Okay, okay, okay. The fit of it is nice. They don't seem too long. I like where they end. Let's try them on with sneakers. Okay, I'm actually gonna take off the sweater. It's way too hot. Okay, first impressions. It's big, it's relaxed, but I wouldn't say it's too baggy. This is a size small. I ordered two sizes, we have the small and the extra small, but to be honest, I think the small will be just fine here with my waist. The hem isn't really too tight, so it doesn't like tighten up at the ankles. It just kind of flows. It definitely feels like a summery material though, because this is very lightweight. I feel like if I go out in London right now, I'm gonna be freezing my ass off. I'm kind of looking at the stitching here. It kind of gives me like a cargo trouser vibe. What I like about these is that they're different from your classic gray sweatpants, which usually have a bit more of a harsh cotton feel to them. These are very lightweight. They almost feel like linen, to be honest. They're super comfortable and flowy when you walk around. They are a bit techy, and because they're quite summery, I would have to wear them with more casual outfits like this. I'm gonna try the extra small real quick, just to see if it fits any better, but to be honest, I think the small is going to be better for me. Yeah, this is quite tight at the waistband, not gonna lie. Like if I put on any weight at all, yeah, it's too tight. So the small definitely fits better on me. I don't know if I'm going to keep them yet. I'm gonna meditate on it, see how I feel about them, try them on with a couple of different outfits. I'd give them a solid seven out of 10. Let's move on to the next piece. 
Okay, next up we have the oversized hooded blues on jacket, which basically is a windbreaker for me. This piece looked really cool online, so I hope it's gonna fit as well as it did on the model. I got this one in an extra small as well. Oh, it fully zips down. I thought it was like a quarter zip type situation, but the zip fully goes all the way down and you can just open it up apparently. Okay, okay, okay. Sleeve length is good. Let's try to zip it up. Okay, first impressions. The fit of it is pretty good. I like where it fits on the sleeves. I like the boxy silhouette here. I like the details on the vents here in the front and in the back. Ideally, I would love it to be slightly shorter. If it could just end like here, I think it would be better. Have it be a bit shorter. And usually Uniqlo is pretty on point in terms of sizing for me. And this is an extra small. If it was more of a quarter zip situation that would end right here. I feel like I would like it better. I think it's a decent piece, but there's these few little things that are gonna make it a pass for me. Good thing I left the tag on because I am gonna be returning this one. Okay, so next up we have the French rib trousers. They're supposed to be that in-between smart and casual pair of pants that you can kind of wear with casual outfits and with smarter outfits at the same time. They come in black and olive green and I ordered both so we're gonna be able to see what both colors look like. Let's see what the website says. Versatile pants with an elegant texture and tapered cut. Compact ribbed knits creates a stylish silhouette. Wide fit, slightly tapered cut. Elastic waist for comfort. Slanted pockets lend a sleek look. All sounds nice and well. My videographer has them and said that they're really good. So let's see how they look on me. We'll try the black pair first. These are actually really solid. So I'm wearing a size extra small here because the small felt a little bit too wide at the waist. The material feels really nice actually. Like it's not that light, it's got a little bit of heaviness to it, which makes it feel more premium. It's got a relaxed silhouette and because it doesn't have that center crease, it doesn't make them look too smart even though they're black, but they also don't look like joggers. I would say it almost feels like elevated sweatpants. As you know, I'm a big fan of black trousers. I have quite a few pairs of them in pretty much every silhouette possible from cropped and tapered to wide legs to smarter trousers with a cuff and a pleat. I just can't get enough of black trousers and even with all that I do feel like these would have a place in my wardrobe. I just want to see what they look like with these clogs. Oh this is solid. This is really really solid. Actually I love them. Now let's try them in green. They actually do look insane. I think this is my favorite pair of trousers I've tried from Uniqlo in a very long time. You've heard me talk of the EZY ankle length trousers before. I made a whole video about them and those are sick. But these ones, these ones are something different, man. Yeah, I think that's the best way to describe them. Elevated joggers, that's what it feels like, but just more luxurious. Even the length is perfect, which is quite rare for me because I'm a shorter than average dude. I guess the only thing I have to decide between is which color I like best, maybe both. Fourth item down our list, French rib trousers. Yet was right, they are absolutely sick. I don't have anything bad to say about them. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. The only thing to keep in mind is sizing. I do think they size quite big, so maybe just go one size down, especially if you're in between sizes. By the way, I will put a link to all of these pieces in the description so you can just check them all out there. Last but not least, we have the recycled down jacket. So it's kind of like a classic down jacket, except it's not a puffer. It's more of this mid layer that you could even layer like a bigger coat on top of it, but you could also wear it as the final outer layer. Let's try it on. This is an extra small. The fit looks nice. I wouldn't go any bigger than this. Let's close it up. The fabric feels nice. It feels warm. It definitely feels very warm. If I put a scarf on top of this, I could probably go out in London right now. Okay, I think it's a pretty decent piece, but it's not really my style. It doesn't give me that boost of confidence. It doesn't make me feel like it's really me, you know? It's a cool piece, don't get me wrong. I just think it's not me. I'm gonna try it on with a hoodie because I feel like that's the type of item you could layer it with. Okay, not gonna lie, it does look a lot better with the hoodie. It looks cool with the outfit, don't get me wrong. But again, it still just doesn't feel like me. So I do think it's a good jacket. I would recommend it, but for me personally, it's gonna be a return. Let's try it in black really quick though, just to see if that changes my mind. It's better, but still not it. Oh, and quick bonus. You've probably seen this t-shirt already in all of my videos. I wear it all the time. It's the Uniqlo U Arism Oversized. Nice and oversized fit with drop shoulders. I wear a size small and it just came out in a few new colorways. And one of them I really love. 
Ta da! You have this faded, desaturated, greenish color, and I really like the tone of it. Damn, what a fit. I think this looks sick with the French rib trousers and olive and the clogs over here from Zara. I think this is a really cool fit. I love the tones of it. New colorway for the Arizm oversized one. I like it. Okay, final thoughts on the collection. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think there's some really good pieces in there. Is it revolutionary? Is it groundbreaking? No, I don't think so. But that's also not what Uniqlo is supposed to be. Uniqlo is there to provide good quality, affordable pieces that still have that modern twist to it, that edge. It's classic, it's timeless, but it's got cool, relaxed silhouettes. And I think that's everything that this collection of Uniqlo U is. So there's a few pieces that I didn't love, the ones that lean a little bit more tech wear. You have the denim jacket, the windbreaker, and the joggers, also maybe not my cup of tea, but I do think they would fit another person's style very well, but they're just not for me. With that said, they definitely have some gems in there. The French rib trousers, this new colorway of the t-shirt and the trench coat were on point. If you liked any of the pieces I was wearing, I'll make sure to link everything down in the description. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish you a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.